Our goal is to solve the following system. So as you can see, you have one, two, three equations. What are we going to do? We're going to start by dividing the first equation by three. So three x one divided by three, negative two x two divided by three, four x three divided by three equals to one over three. This becomes your very first equation. The second equation stays the same. The third equation stays the same. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to subtract the first equation from the second equation to create the second equation. Subtracting the first equation from the second equation gives us the following. We get rid of variable x1 because if you just do the subtraction, the second one here, the second equation, x1 disappears. But x2 becomes 5 divided by 3x2, and your negative 2x3, after doing the algebra, is negative 10 divided by 3x3. And on the right-hand side, you have 3 minus a third, which becomes 8 over 3. The last equation stays the same. Now what? In our last effort, we're going to add negative 2 times the first equation to the third equation. Why is that? Because our first equation has x1, and our third equation also has variable x1, but it is two times x1. So multiplying the first equation by negative two and adding that to the last equation makes x1 to disappear. After doing algebra, the last equation becomes negative five over three x2 plus 10 over three x3 equals to 22 over three. But take a look, if I add these two equations, x2, and x3, they disappear. It means that on the left-hand side, you have zero, and on the right-hand side, you have a numerical value. You get 30 divided by three, which is 10. So it says, hey, zero is equal to 10, which is basically a contradiction. What's the meaning of that? It means that the system is inconsistent. These three planes have no intersection.